Hi. So before I get into this video, I haven't posted in a while. We had the holiday. We spent a lot of time with family. Wasn't thinking about making videos during that time, just enjoying and being present. We were sleeping at, you know, Tim's family, sleeping at my family's. Finally got home after the holiday and we were so excited to like be home and we did some house projects and I wanted to show you that in this video and show you some stuff that we did over the holidays. We actually gifted my mother-in-law an e-bike because she has really bad knees and so we went on like a family outing and practiced. I'm gonna include footage from that. So we came home, did a bunch of house projects, and then we got news that my uncle just started really getting bad really quickly. He ended up passing away and we've just been really focusing on trying to be there for my parents because I wasn't super close with my uncle. Obviously he's family and we've had fun times together. It's my, my dad's brother. I think my mom said they didn't sleep for like three days or something because they were just like driving back and forth a hundred times because they wanted to be there with him. We went, uh, Tim and I went to see him in the hospital um, with my parents and my sister and family flew in to come see him. My parents got back super late one night from visiting him and then they got a call um, at like, I think it was 1 a.m. that he was probably gonna pass. So they got right back in the car and drove, you know, to be with him. We've just been, you know, trying to pour love into my family to really be there for them and make sure that they have their needs met, have meals, and are just, you know, okay. So, amongst all of that, I have been working on the next video. I'm gonna post it right after this video. Yeah, I guess that's why I haven't posted in a while. Just pray that they are given peace and comfort, you know, in this time. My dad specifically and his siblings, you know, they lost their brother. The gospel obviously is a very hopeful message that if you have faith in Christ, you're gonna be with God when you die. So that was my first time being at a funeral as someone who does have faith in Christ. So it was a very different experience for me at least than what I remember thinking in my own head at other funerals I've been to, kind of like scared and am I good enough to get to heaven? Is there a heaven? What happens after you die? Like kind of being afraid of death. There's no fear in love. Let's get into it. In this space, I painted all of the cabinets, all of the molding, the trim, this center fireplace, everything in the dining area that you can see behind me. Pottery Wheel by Bear. Do you see the color difference? So like that's the old color and this is the new color. This is more pinky. This is it without the lights on. But everything in here was that yellowy greeny color and that is the same. So I painted the trim here. You can see the difference, but everything is now pottery wheel, except this section and that, which I don't think I'm keeping that. I think I wanna put something more unique there. And we're gonna do a whole thing with the whole area up the stairs and the hallway upstairs. We're gonna do a whole thing of like, probably wallpaper, a lot of cool art on the wall. Cause it is a cool like looking, you know, long hallway up there. Then the wall was like the most matte finish that you can do and it's dainty lace. And I absolutely love it to the point where I don't even think I want to do wallpaper anymore in this room. Also because this house doesn't get a lot of light. The wallpaper, I think it's going to make it look darker obviously cause it's darker than the light dainty lace color that we have on the wall. So I think that I'm gonna show you the piano room. We knocked down a wall in there because there was a closet and the previous owners, like they come over kind of often. It's really fun that we have a relationship with them. Um, she actually left her plates here, like for me to have when they moved out. And like, I think it was in early, early December, she texted and was like, I know that I left my plates but they were my like Thanksgiving plates and my daughter came to our house for Thanksgiving and was like, where are the plates? So would you mind if I came over and, and took those plates back? So I was like, oh my gosh, of course. She said that it's a completely hollow wall. They told us like, it'll be so easy for you to take that out. So Tim was able to take it out, not even smashing it with a sledgehammer, just taking like the big, you know, sheet rock in one piece basically out of the house so it wasn't that messy. That room is gonna be the art and music room. Tim is such a good artist. It's crazy. I saw 
um, something he did at his parents' house. I thought it was a photo. Him and my dad are very similar, and it's so funny seeing them together because they talk about cameras and technology and art. I got him some easels for his birthday, one for me, one for him, so we can have like a, a paint night together. It's like a fun date night thing. It's so funny, my sister, mom, dad, and Tim's mom and dad came over yesterday, and um, everyone was like, these remind me of the house we grew up in. So it's so true. I grew up in like an old Tudor home. There were three of these for $30, and it was kind of at an expensive antique place, so we grabbed them. It's such a bigger, brighter room now that the wall's gone. But he was like, why don't we take that and I'll build a bookshelf around it. We might actually do a bookshelf like all across here. I love these floors. These are 300 year old floors. We have this yellow couch that's so fitting for the windows. We picked this up from someone on Facebook Marketplace. But I want to set up the easels and we have the piano. I think I'm going to put the piano in that corner and then the whole rest of the room will be open space to have our easels, to like have a cute comfy area to sit and read a book. There's a fireplace over here. I think this room's gonna be really cute and cozy. I would love to do a wallpaper in that room. Like I'm thinking a green whimsical, you know, the, there's trim in that room. So maybe doing the, the trim a different color green or like playing on the different greens. I think that would be really cool, but it's not even close to like what it's gonna be. That one on the left is probably the closest to what I saw. I'm really excited for this room. I have my work cut out for me. So what else? We did the island, we stained that, and that was quite the project. Um, I didn't anticipate how much dust there was gonna be. So I didn't tape the first time and everything got so incredibly dusty and I have so many like little knickknacks. I've had to like dust every single one of these little tiny things and the walls and everything. But it turned out really, really nice. I'm obsessed with this color and I'm really glad we chose not to do this, the stone, the white stone, because we thought when you walk in, if you see this huge piece of white, it's like very modern. And this house is not actually 200 years old, it's actually 300 years old, the previous owners told us. Um, so like that door for the pantry, that was the door to the closet in the piano room. We took it, flipped it upside down, flipped the handle upside down, put it as a pantry door. They had this beautiful you know, side of the door as the back of the piano room closet door. So you couldn't even see it. The other side is just painted brown. So I saw that like a few months into us living here and I was like, oh my gosh, we need to have this as like a piece that is a showcase piece in this house. So right when you walk in, you can see that door pretty much as soon as you come like a few feet around the corner. So I love that. But yeah, the handles I'm obsessed with, they're from Van Dyke's. Um, I have a really cool refrigerator DIY that I wanna try. Besides the wallpaper and adding some art to the fridge, we're gonna do beadboard as, you know, a border, you know, encasing the refrigerator so that I can hang shelves and be able to like access things easier and just like disguise the fridge a little bit more. Once this whole side is beadboard, I have three of those little things to hold cloths, to clean the dishes and everything. I'm so excited to have hooks and like little shelves there. Maybe dishwasher tabs like in a cute little jar instead of having to bend over and pick them out of there. I use the Molly Suds by the way. I've been trying to buy the cleanest stuff possible. And I want to do curtain cabinets for the corner cabinet because they're very hard to open. They're kind of awkward especially like when you're cooking and you have all the stuff on your hands. You have to, I would just rather stick my hand in there and grab something if it was a curtain. And then just to like kind of disguise the dishwasher, I thought it'd be fun to do like a Velcro strip and kind of um, have a curtain, you know, on it. So I'm gonna have to figure out exactly how to do it. Maybe we'll have a pole, I don't know yet. I went to this fabulous fabric store that I think I will be returning to because I've looked for curtains and other things online and I feel like in person it's so much easier because you can bring things from home, you can bring a sample from here. But yeah, I, this was such a cool experience. Let's see what it looks like. Oh my gosh, I love it. I think it looks so good with the dark island. And I like the basket here and I don't want to lose this piece 
on the wall in the other room. But guys. I don't know. I'm definitely gonna get new bar chairs. I found the most beautiful ones on Facebook Marketplace, but I didn't scoop them up in time. These are just more formal and we're going for a very relaxed like cottage look. I can't wait to do the fridge. Doesn't the fridge like stick out like a sore thumb? But oh my gosh, I love the curtain cabinet. So cute. I love that. These candles I have to age. I don't know if I'm loving the colors. I feel like they're too bright over there. It kind of sticks out. This candlestick's a little bit big for the holder. This is our patinaed pot for the fern, which I love. And we got it. we're gonna get a new plant for this guy. I love that. It looked so cool with the other plant on it. But yeah, I think that's gonna look so cute. I love the plants. I have never had living plants in my house and it just adds something so cool. It's very whimsical. It's very, I don't know how to explain it. It just really like makes me happy when I look at those plants. I don't know why. I have to find a hanging basket for the one in the right hand corner there because they didn't have one that was an appropriate size. For that plant or this house at Shakespeare Garden they're really good we got this little planter because I just had the white hanging basket that it came in and I was gonna buy a hanging basket but I think I like this better so we have that and then yeah I just love that but I kind of like the having the three of them there that's pretty much the kitchen we had friends over last night and I wanted to get a whole bunch of fresh flowers um I like doing that when company comes over so um I was making dinner and my friend and her husband came over and she cut all of the flowers for me which was really sweet she used to be a florist so she was like oh my gosh I want to do it so um she cut those and we today just hung them up uh, upside down to dry and then I put some on the dining table in the basket by the stairs the dining table We got this really cool basket at a thrift shop or Antique shop in Canton. I believe it was and so I just put the like Cloth napkins from the wedding in there. We found a really cute salt and pepper shaker yesterday I didn't have a salt and pepper shaker up until yesterday. I just put some glasses in there from mongers market um they're like hand blown from France. They were like $15 for six of them. But they're so cool looking because when you put them on a flat surface, they're like uneven because they're hand blown, which is so cool. I love that. Um, but anyways, so I'm just obsessed with this house. Like everywhere you look, there's some old charm. Even when it comes to the windows, like those little windows above the sink are so cute and they're all like a beautiful wood that's why we did the island red oak because the windows the door a lot of the woods in this house even the floor a little bit have a red tint to them so i wanted to kind of match that but i mean for this house being so old that's a that's a big thing with old houses usually the windows like aren't great but these windows are so smooth they really hold the heat in. They're a beautiful wood color. I, I just, I love them so much. It's so much like cozier than the old house. Obviously the old house was beautiful, but there were so many things that I didn't love about the old house that I wanted to change, but I just couldn't bring myself to do it because it would have been so much money. Like I didn't like the yellowy floors in that house. It's very 2006, which is when I think that house was built. Um, and I would have loved to have like a darker wood floor like this. This house, I've just been blown away by how much they cared. And I think it's because it's a family home. I don't know if I ever told you guys the story, but we were obviously praying about this, the decision of like, you know, Lord, show us what house you want us in. Show us what area you want us in. And we were driving up to this house when we went to see it. And an old lady like stopped us, like flagged us down. I thought she was going to ask for directions. And she was like, hey, what are you guys doing? And I was like, oh, we're actually Tim said it because he was driving. We're just like looking at, you know, this house. We were, we're house shopping. And she was like, oh my gosh, I live next door. My niece lives in that house. She's the one who's selling it. We've been praying that a young couple will move into this house. She used to live in this house. Her dad built like that house, that house, that house. It's like her family is like this whole neighborhood. 
after you look at it come hang out on my porch i'll give you the lowdown of the neighborhood we literally and sat talked with her for like an hour so i text her all the time she saw me bringing the piano in so she said her mom used to have the piano where the dining table is and like have the windows open in the summer and like let everyone listen to it so um I had the windows open a lot in the summer and it's self-playing so like um, she she texts me like oh I can hear you playing this house has been such a blessing and knowing that how much this house means to the people who lived here and the people who you know we have a relationship now with now it's just really nice but um, I have been doing the big things now I can kind of do the fun stuff of like putting you know floating shelves putting art on the wall I just wanted to update you because I made some really fun additions so i swapped out the chair that used to be here it's now in the piano room it is like almost the exact color of the wall it's a mauvey kind of pink color i know you probably can't even tell on camera but it has flowers on it i love the back and i just think it fits the space better and i got this little fun stool that matched the blanket i didn't like fold the blanket or anything i think i want to switch this out for something a little bit more primitive and not so sharp looking you know what i mean i just wanted to feel very cozy and homey then part of my birthday present was tim took me antiquing he had a really cool idea to put a plant on that i think this would be cool here we had so many people over yesterday um both of our families so it's a little bit messy over here this is actually for candles but we want to put like little herbs in here you can put it like on a window shelf or we can put it on this windowsill right there we found this little picture i have not found one primitive piece of art that i like for this house i don't know why it's been so difficult but i thought this would be cute to add a little something and then we got this little candlestick holder that i really like we got this chair as a plant holder too. And I have this beautiful piece that I saw when I went antiquing myself, love that. So that's really pretty. Don't know where I'm gonna put that yet. I wish I could hang this all before I show you, but I'm just so excited. Um, the bedroom we painted and got new curtains, but we don't have a bed frame, we don't have like a headboard. If I'm looking at myself, I'm sorry, there's like, I'm not used to all of these things. There's a whole bunch of charts and things on the screen, usually it's just my phone and there's like nothing going on. And there's also something that's like tracking me as I move and I'm trying to like figure out what it's doing, so I'm sorry. But um, we kind of somewhat did the bedroom. The wall color in here is called Queen and Lilac. It's such a beautiful color and the green is Black Bamboo. We actually have a really cool wallpaper that we want to do on the ceiling. But um, this is the closet. The reason we chose this bedroom as the main bedroom, even though it's smaller than what we're calling the office right now that's not going to stay in office, is because of the closet. It has a good size closet, the quote unquote office, but I just liked the height of this better. So this bedroom and the bathroom on this floor, the full bath, is really high, the ceiling. And I say really high, but like, for this house it's really high and then the smaller bedroom upstairs and the quote-unquote office is lower ceilings so these little cabinets the previous owner built and we kind of just left them we haven't i have not touched this room really the only thing we did was paint i haven't done anything really upstairs like i've said or will say i don't know at what point in the video i say that but um yeah i'm really excited that i'm taking my time I had two king size mattresses from the old house and I want to do like a twin I think or a full maybe in the guest room. We don't have a mattress that size yet and we have the two kings so I literally stacked the two kings on top of each other just to make that like somewhat of a guest room which I guess for a guest room it's good because if you have like three girlfriends come over they can sleep in the guest room. Last night our friends were like, oh, I wish we would have thought of sleeping over. Um, so it's really nice to have that guest room set up, even though it's not exactly what I want. It's not painted. It's not like really thought out, but it's functional at this point. So I'm happy about that. I haven't really like done anything upstairs, even like in this bathroom, haven't done anything in the bathroom upstairs, haven't done anything. There's two bathrooms, so I haven't 
haven't worked on bathrooms. Um, I've been mainly just focusing on like the two spaces that were in the most, which is like this whole space and the TV room. So it's really exciting that I'm taking my time because in the old house, I was like, I don't know how to pick colors, paint it all white. Like the whole house was just white. And I was like, I wish I didn't do everything white. This is just the rest of the upstairs. There's two closets on the right. And then across from those two closets are, is the bathroom that I just showed you, the last one. And so I, I love organizing my mom. When I was growing up, she was really big on organization. And I'm very grateful for that now. Um, because when things aren't organized, I'm like, girl, you got to get it together. So I have so much fun organizing. But anyways, there's this little window seat past the closets across from the washer dryer. And I asked him to build it out a little bit so I can actually sit there. So I thought, why not build it out to this line right here? Like, you know what I mean? Right there. So if he builds that out and then I do bookshelves or pillows, I think it'll be like an actual functional area, which would be so cute. And then we just have the washer dryer. I haven't even changed the curtain that was here since, you know, we, we got the house that there's the bathroom I just showed you. And then the quote unquote office is at the other end uh, right to the right of the stairs. That probably won't stay in office space. Okay, so staircase, the quote unquote office. And this is kind of a larger room, so I don't think it's gonna remain the office. We don't need to like take up this whole room just for the desk over there. All of the books and other things are gonna be organized in the closet. This is actually a nice size walk-in closet. This room is not touched at all. It's not high on my priority list because if we have guests over, they hang out in the kitchen, the TV room, and before we did the construction, people would always gravitate towards the piano and play it if they could play, and then people would sit in there and listen. So those are my priorities, and then probably our bedroom because that's where we are if we're not downstairs. Like this room is just not a high priority, but if we do have kids in the future, which hopefully God gives us children, I've never tried to have a baby, so I don't know if I can get pregnant. I'm sure I can, but um, I think this would be a really cool kids room. This angle right here, I saw on Pinterest a photo of a children's bed with this angled roof, and it looked so cute, so my style, very cottagey, antique. We have that on both sides. We could have one bed here, one bed there, depending on how old they are. Um, this could be curtained off and made another closet if that's needed in the future. There's just so many things that could be done with this room. I feel like it doesn't make sense to give away this room as the guest room. I think the, the other room I showed you is perfect for a guest room because if you have guests for a night or two, they're not gonna need to unpack and have a closet. This room has a great closet. If we do have kids, they have all this room to play and hang out. I definitely want to get a gate if we do have kids and then they have to learn to walk and all that before we get a gate. So I'm not really concerned about that right now. But yeah, that's this room. Then we have the TV room and I don't know if I'm even going to keep the TV, let alone keep it above the fireplace. But we painted this, what is it called? Spiced Brandy is the pinky color. And then the darker color is actually... A dark blue I forgot the name of it but um, I, I it was like such a risk I feel like to do this color combo because I had never you know really seen these colors together like if I if you look at on, on Pinterest there are like very few examples of it so um, I was a little nervous to do it and then to do the ceiling too I was nervous about but I really really like it I think we're gonna add molding separating like the wall and the ceiling a lot of times when you do paint the ceiling, there is like a, a little separation with molding. So molding's not expensive and it's really easy to put up. So I'm excited for that. These paintings were in the left corner of the TV room of the other home. I love them. We spent a while trying to find a good couch. I found this one and it was like 18 or $1,900. I screenshot it, put it into Google Images and found it on Amazon. The exact same couch for like a thousand bucks. I got a whole bunch of these to put on the wall. This I thought could maybe be the centerpiece on the island because it's so, like, look how cool this is. This is such a cool piece. So we have those. 
I just have a whole bunch of stuff. I can do that one actually sideways and do the other ones around it and just stick books in there or, you know, antique things. I have a writing desk that I might stick here, like caddy corner it. I'm sure you guys know what a writing desk is, but they're really cool. But something could still go on that wall. So maybe I'll do half of these on that wall, half on that wall. Turquoise to match. I love my baskets. I left a little bit of room to get to this closet in the corner. And I love all the latch handles instead of like the traditional doorknobs. But um, yeah, this is the room right now. Oh, the picture frames kind of bother me. And the TV being like that. We did get um, the molding to do that trick where you disguise the TV into looking like a piece of art. Um, but yeah, the two pictures I just stuck there. I got the frames from Home Goods because I got Tim a whole bunch of things for his birthday and I printed out those pictures for him and I just last minute got a frame at Home Goods. So definitely want to change them because they're very yellowy. They're not really cute in my opinion, but I will get there. Um, I love having pictures of us. I've never had pictures of like myself or my family in my house. I've always just like had artwork like this. But um, these are really cool primitive frames. There's Leroy, there's my baby. I gave him a haircut yesterday. This rug I got at an estate sale at this like mansion in a really expensive part of Connecticut. So I have a feeling it's really good quality, but I got such a good deal on it. See that primitive case? That was from the old house too. Like I started buying primitive stuff and not even knowing like what the name was for it, but I just really liked it. So I've kind of just mixed primitive with Victorian with some modern so it is very eclectic, the house, but yeah, see the yellow? Mm-mm. mm, -mm. mm, -mm. But yeah, I don't know what to do the, with the TV either. It's a work in progress. We'll figure it out. This was from an estate sale, the pillow. Um, this one we got antiquing. It has like a little bit of pink in it, which is kind of funny. It like matches the couch, um, but love that. We got the turquoise little basket at an antique shop for my birthday too. None of the curtains in the entire home except the bedroom are mine. I found them like in closets and some of them were up uh, where they are, where you see them now. But I do like the little curtains I have in this room and I'd like to get more. I don't know if I'm gonna go back to that fabric store and kind of try and find like really fun pattern curtains for just like all over the house, but yeah, this is basically the house tour, guys. That um, blanket, that little scarf thing is actually, like, not a blanket for a couch. The pink one that lady was just on, that was, like, a scarf that you just wear. But it just fits so nicely with the colors. That turquoise pillow is from an estate sale. It's so hard to find good pillows. Anyways, I love how it's coming along. Thank you guys for watching. If you want to stick around, here is the bike portion of the video. I just want to say a quick thank you to Van Powers for giving me the opportunity to gift this bike to my mother-in-law. And thank you for sponsoring. <laughs> thank you so much. That's a gift. You didn't need to do anything more. So don't sit back down. Okay, so <laughs> and a happy new year. All right, Mama. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's not for me. Yeah. It's yours. No. No. <laughs> it's perfect. I need one that doesn't do the work for me. <laughs> 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 oh, this is awesome. Bike. This is amazing. Really nice. mm -hmm. Yeah. I just. Yeah. yeah. I'm so excited. Look at the you. mama. She looks like she's ready. She's ready, she ready to go. Oh, I this is crazy. Dad. Yeah. Mom's like, Dad, 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 will be getting in shape. Yeah. Uh, honey, should we turn around yet? Mom's like, no, I think we're fine. Let's keep going. Yeah. It's a really big hill, honey. I'll beat you at the time. Uh, well, no, we. I'm overwhelmed. Right. She couldn't. Go speed race. She, uh, she couldn't wait after she practiced. Now she's riding it home. I'm out, I'm out of luck. You're 
here we are just trying to keep up with the mama making her way up the steepest part of the hill. We're doing 18 miles an hour uphill. Look at those legs. She's got the roids in them for sure. Mama! Excuse me, we're gonna need to get you tested for steroids. <laughs> you were doing, that was a blast! You were doing like 18 to 20 miles an hour up the hill. I love it! Oh, that's great. <laughs> wow! That's great. Hi, it's editing me. I love watching that clip. It looked like they were having so much fun. So I um, wanted to try it as well. So we met up on a different day to do that. Since that hill going home to right. our house. What was she doing on that? Three or she four? She was doing 18 miles an hour in sixth gear with like assist level three. <laughs> and she's she's in her late 50s. Right. The fact that she's Wait. cruising up she's, that. She's, she's definitely, <laughs> I said 50s, didn't yeah, I? Yeah. Nice. Well, she would like that. <laughs> so I didn't want to give the gift like as a used present. I didn't want to try it first and like kind of get it dirty and everything. I wanted it to be brand new for her. So um, I, on this day that you're about to see, was like learning everything about the bike. So basically they have an assist feature and then they have a feature where it's doing everything for you. So the assist has, I think, five levels. But basically, it is assisting you while you're pedaling. So it's making it easier for you to pedal. So the clip you saw when she was going up that steep hill, she was on assist. So she was doing some of the work, but the bike was really carrying most of the work. The other feature is the throttle you'll see here, where if you just hold that down, you don't have to pedal at all. And if you want to go slower, you just lift off the throttle a little bit. You can still use your brakes, whether you're in assist or if you're using the throttle, or if you're just, you know, regularly riding the bike. This is the screen. It has anti-reflective properties, which is so cool. And the brightness can be automatically adjusted based on ambient light, or you can manually set it to three different levels. The battery is removable. It is UL certified for safety, reliability, and compliance. So we made it to our favorite spot, and you're gonna just see us having some fun and testing out the bike. <laughs> Oh, what a beautiful freezing day to take a bike ride. <laughs> Effortless up the hills. I did it. <laughs> My knees, you know, one, are in a lot of pain when I bike, but this I can continue and go, and I don't experience the same pain. I have just enough assist that I'm able to keep going. Yeah. The shifting and every, it's so smooth. When you get on this, You'll be amazed how smooth it is. If it's a really st steep hill, you can just increase the assist so that your pedal rate stays the same as if you're on flat ground. Right. This is three. Wow. Oh my gosh, Tim. <laughs> All right, I'm going back down to two. Okay, so I'm in neutral right now. It's so cool, you can feel it. Like I'm, I'm pedaling and if I just press the button and I go at the same rate, it already starts going quicker. Look, I'm not even like doing anything. Isn't that cool? I kind of want one. <laughs> we got to get some of these. I used to love riding my bike. We used to ride our bikes all the time in the neighborhood. <laughs> all right, I'm pressing one. I need, ooh. Wow, look at that. <laughs> look at I'm not that. even oh, trying. Tight and nice. <gasps> oh, <laughs> if you want to bypass assist, you just go straight. Oh my gosh. So you don't have to pedal at all. No. Wow, he's not pedaling at all. Yeah, I wanna Yeah, do that. Yeah. I wanna do that. <laughs> you wanna try using it that way? Yeah. Yeah, hop on. I'm like, Girl, yeah. Where's the thing where it goes by itself? This. This is your throttle. So when you push it down, it and just gives it, it strength? Oh, you yep. have to hold it? You hold it the whole time. Oh, the whole yep. time. Yeah, but again, That's kind of safe, I guess, is... if you have to hold it. Yeah, because then you know, the You just let go. go and... Okay, that so... makes me feel better. Safety first. Okay, I, I will not be doing that. Sure. I want my tippy toe. Nice yeah, use the throttle. Yeah. And again, just remember, use your brakes. Okay. <laughs> I'm scared. You got it, babe. <laughs> oh my gosh, Tim. <laughs> Woo! Look, I'm not pedaling! <laughs> oh my gosh! My eyes are watering. Watch, ready? Ah! <laughs> <laughs>
there's a car behind you, Alana. Oh no. <laughs> Just break over here. This helmet's too big for me. <laughs> I can't see. Ah, oh, that was so cool. I want you to try it. You can really feel it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Even on just one. All right, well, ready? So if I'm oh I can feel Are it. you an assist or are I'm you an assist. or are you throttling? I'm gonna throttle. Yeah. Going up the hill, it's cheating. And that, and that I know. Really <laughs> oh my oh, gosh. <laughs> Do you think Willow loves Alana? I love her, she's so cute. Oh. You're so fluffy. You're so warm, baby girl. One of the things that they I thought of that was really, really thoughtful, for a heavy bike, typically heavy bikes have fairly rough travel. Here on the right-hand side, you can lock your suspension so you don't have as much travel. And then for the seat, it actually has its own individual suspension. So as you can see, as I push down, you actually have an incredibly comfortable ride. Yeah, I did notice Not that. Only... This bike seat is the most comfortable bike yeah. seat. It really was very comfortable. Yeah. Extremely comfortable. You have your brake light oh, flashing, wow. so you're incredibly visible to traffic. Wow, Charlie. In the front, <laughs> yeah, in the front, you, you know it all. have an LED light that... Right here. Uh, yes, I noticed. Yep. The sensor that registers ambient light. So Are you so good? Dark. Dust, You're so good. The light comes on, so you... Oh. <laughs> you Final verdict? It was so much fun. I'm so glad that we gave it to your mom. I think she is going to have so much fun with it. I think so.